And now that we've made the change to our table, we can try refreshing again. And you can see here, every time we refresh our table, the data is randomized again. So we have an automated randomizer. Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Easy Excel tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to automatically randomize data in Excel using Power Query. Now, whether you're running a survey, a lottery, doing some testing, or simply deciding who to invite to your wedding, there are many reasons why you would want to randomize data in Excel. I'm going to show you how to do that very easily using Power Query. Now, if this is the first time you've been to one of my videos, please don't be daunted by the word Power Query. This is actually really easy and great for beginners and advanced users alike. So you can see here, we've got a list of contacts and I'm going to be running a survey. So I need to randomize my list here to determine who I'm going to call. As usual, the first thing we need to do is import our data into the Power Query editor. So to do that, we'll go over to the data tab here, click from table or range. And now that our table has been loaded into the editor, let's give it a name. We'll call it list of contacts. And now we can proceed with building our automated randomizer. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a custom column to our table with a random number. So to do that, we're going to go over to the add column pane here in our ribbon and we'll click custom column. We'll give our column a name, random number. And the formula we're going to enter here is number dot random go ahead and click OK. And you can see now Power Query has added a column to our table with a random number, but the random number is the same in each row. Not quite what we're looking for. We actually need Power Query to generate a unique random number in each row because this is what we're going to use to randomize our data. So to do that, let's go back a step. We'll delete the column that we added over in our applied steps here. And we're going to start instead by adding an index number column. So to do that, back to our add column pane, we see an option here, index column. You can do from zero or one, either will work. So let's click from one. And we now have an index column. So each row has a number one through 33, as we have 33 rows in our data set. Now that we have our index column, we can go ahead and add our random number column again. So to do that, custom column, we'll give it a name, random number, formula, same as before, number dot random. Go ahead and click OK. And you can see here, now that we've added our index column, the random number column is generating a unique random number for each row. Next step is to sort our random number column to actually randomize our data. So to do that, we'll just go over here and click the little arrow. And we can sort ascending or descending. Either will work. So let's just go ahead and click sort ascending. And take a look at our index column here. You can see now the order has changed, whereas before it was 1 to 33. Now we can see that all of the numbers have been mixed up, a good indication that our data has been randomized. But we're not done yet. Let's go over to our Home tab, and we're going to click Close and Load. And let's just load that to a regular Excel table. We'll click Table here, click OK. And you can see we've got our table into the regular Excel editor. Now, if we right click our table here and we hit refresh, we can see that the number in column G, the random number, is changing, but the rest of our table is not being sorted with it. So we just need to make a small tweak to our query to get our randomizer working. So to do that, let's just go over to our list of queries in the right here and we'll right click our list of contacts and we'll click edit. And now that we're back into the Power Query editor, let's just go over to our advanced editor and we're going to add a custom formula to our sorted rows step. So where it says added custom here, we're just gonna wrap that in another function called table.buffer in bracket, close bracket, Go ahead and click done. 
And similar to before, we'll load it to Excel, close and load. And now that we've made the change to our table, we can try refreshing again. And you can see here, every time we refresh our table, the data is randomized again. So we have an automated randomizer. Now this is the beauty of Power Query. Build your query once and run it as many times as you need to. Now that we've told Power Query the steps that it needs to take to randomize our data, we can refresh our table as many times as we need to. In fact, we can even add additional data to our contact list here. Let's go ahead and add a few rows. And we'll go back to our query table, right click and hit refresh. And you can see it's added those additional contacts to our randomizer tool. And every time we right click our table and hit refresh, we get a new set of randomized data. From there, we can proceed with our testing, our sampling, our surveying, or deciding again who we want to invite to our wedding. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. We're almost at 300 subscribers. So thank you all so much for watching and for all your support. And I'll be back soon with more easy Excel tutorials.